Hey guys, how's it going? Angus here from Makers Muse. Welcome to part two of the Dumpster PC CAD challenge. So I've been looking forward to this actually for all week and I haven't had time because I've been too busy to do it. But it's now Thursday evening and yeah, I'm going to get into it. So I actually found a case for the PC. And this is the one here. I've cleaned it up, so it was covered in dust when I found it, and it's pretty sick actually, pretty well made. Um, obviously the guys bought it from PLE Computers when they first got it, got the system. Uh, EV, EVGA sticker on the front, so it might have had a graphics card in it at one stage, which they've taken out unfortunately. Um, but it's well built and will be perfect for my system. So yeah, thanks guys for the feedback and the comments on the parts I should use. It really means a lot to me because I don't know too much about computers. I decided to go over the, the uh, Core Duo system, so the um, Intel system, because that's going to be much less power consumption than the AMD system, which is cool. Uh, I'm also going to go with the 8600 GT. The feedback on the drivers is really important, so I didn't actually even think about that um, in terms of getting drivers for Linux. So that's a pretty old card, so it should be supported, so fingers crossed. Also I found some sort of SATA cables, uh, random screws, crap like that, so I can connect all my peripherals together. So that's all sorted. So yeah, let's get into it. Cue the chill step. Alright, so here we are. Unfortunately, I wanted to do the original test where I powered up in front of you guys and started up and all that, but I did that and nothing happened. And it turns out this power supply, the Cooler Master one, is junk. It does not work. It's completely dead. Which is a bit of a shame, but it was by the side of the road anyway. So, oh well. I replaced it with the other power supply I had and it booted up fine, but then I couldn't get Linux to load via the USB, so I had to go to JB Hi-Fi, get myself a DVD, then burn the DVD and then install it, and it worked. So, <laughs> fortunately I couldn't show all the steps, but the machine's all together, um, it's working fine, it's nice and quiet. I actually found another one gig stick of memory, so I've now got three gigs in there, they're completely mismatched, but whatever, it's free. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so here's the machine, it's uh, currently installing FreeCAD. Uh, the machine is down on the floor, and I'm going to try FreeCAD, see how it goes, and then I'm probably going to try uh, uh, Steam, install Steam, and just see how it, how it runs games and 3D applications to see how powerful the processor is. So yeah, so thanks for watching guys, and uh, stay tuned for the next, uh, the final installment where I'll be actually using the system to make a project, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, not bad for a completely free piece of kit. Um, yeah, wish me luck. Thanks for watching guys, see you around here soon on Maker's Muse. Bye.